My name is Anthony Smith. Why do I call myself a postmodern man? I was born in 1973 in Birmingham, Alabama, and on my birth certificate, you know, it's my state of Alabama, it says Negro, right? And, you know, it's like today, uh, my children, uh, when they were born, it doesn't say Negro anymore, it says Black or African American, depending upon what part of the country you're in, and how my parents' birth certificate says color. And so I began to get a sense that, you know, identity, it is a very fluid uh, reality, cultural reality. It's grounded in something that's real in culture, but it's also very fluid. But it depends upon the narrative, the better narrative that you're in. I think at the time, you know, uh, I was reading a lot of postmodern thought, uh, philosophers, uh, in particular, uh, Leotard. I love this uh, quote from him where he says, and he's sort of given this sort of was now become like this classical definition of postmodernity, which is when he says simplifying to the extreme, I hold postmodernity to be uh, incredulity towards meta narratives. And coupled with that, I had a good friend, uh, his name was Rod Garvey, uh, lives here in Charlotte. And, uh, he has this quote that I, that I stole, I put it actually on my blog. It says, postmodern since 1619. And what that what that's referring to is is how this whole uh, conversation with postmodern thought, the, uh, the hermeneutics of suspicion, how we're suspicious of those with power when they come to us and tell us this is the truth, right? Uh, they have a certain interest in everybody else believing what they're saying is the truth. Uh, so, uh, black folks, since the uh, sojourn here, beginning of sojourn here in America. We've always had this sort of uh, hermeneutic of suspicion as it relates to American culture, in particular Christianity. Here's the reason why we even have a black church, right? That, that is an outgrowth, that's a manifestation or expression of our own indigenous hermeneutic of suspicion, right? We've always been uh, uh, suspicious of grand stories being told by those in power. It's a, it's a way to just say, uh, for me to exercise my own subjectivity, my own sense of self, and engage in this fluid reality of being an African American uh, man in a postmodern world. It also might jab at those who really are a part of postmodern Christianity. You know, at the time when I when I wrote when I created that blog title, I was blown away how people just evangelicals or post evangelicals were discovering this postmodern discourse. Like it was like, wow, you know, we can deconstruct things. And, and the thing was is that, you know, black folks have been deconstructing things for a very long time in this country, especially as it relates to the symbols, imagery, language, institutions, structures of Christianity and American culture. And so that's what it began, you know, that's where postmodern Negro comes from. Right now, I'm, I'm studying everything from zombie uh, survivalist techniques, <laughs> to design thinking from Stanford, uh, this, you know, Stanford Business School. They have uh, a design school called IDL uh, Company. You know, studying that, man, uh, really enthused by that. I'm also studying theater, studying development of plot. Uh, I'm also studying missional theology and ecclesiology. And uh, I'm also studying uh, jazz, improvisation, what goes on with that. And community development. So for me, uh, whatever I'm curious about, whatever I'm engaging, uh, I would love to talk about it. I want to invite you into a conversation that I'm having with our culture uh, as it relates specifically to the Christian faith. How to be authentically human and engage the wide variety uh, that we experience in our world. How to uh, step out the box. Really, I would really want to invite you to the task of repentance, to learn how to, uh, to walk and to live in a different imagination and the broader culture in which we live in and how that relates to my own Christian faith and maybe the Christian faith that maybe you share or maybe a faith that you may not share, whoever you may be. 
my wife to invite you to that conversation.